to look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. We are back as promised to check these damn buttons. It is Friday. The weekend is here. Thank y'all for tuning in. We definitely got a hot ass topic. And on that note, we're not wasting any time today. So we're about to get it and show some of these hot clips to get back to the FTC content creators. And after that, we're about to get it all, ladies and gents. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of all ages. Smokey, you are no master, so sorry, you boy. And I'm back with another reaction video. But, wow. I was Melina, guys. AKA Princess Butterface. She back. And she looking crazy. All right, and now into the set of buttons that need to be checked, ladies and gents. All right, so this one pops off in the Melee world. And this is huge news, trust me. This is huge news because everybody, not just the Melee community, everybody can relate to this because the Street Fighter world, we went through it recently as well um, with Capcom and stuff like that. Now they're going through it with Nintendo. Everybody's like, yo, what the hell's going on? All right, so this one jumps off right here with Hungry Guy or Hungry Box. Y'all know one, man. So he posted this just yesterday. That's how I first saw it. Dude is pissed off. So right here he posted this saying this is the beginning of the end either COVID dies or melee dies. And right here you can see where he posted the link to his video which I'll put that link in the description field so you can see like his full reaction. I think it's like eight ten minutes long or something like that so definitely check that out if you want more of the scoop. But anyway let's go back to see what he was talking about. So he's talking about this message right here that the big house posted. For those of you that don't know what the big house is I'll put it on the screen right now. So basically description the big house is the largest Super Smash Brothers event series in the fall since 2011 y'all and it's been the premier annual convention for smash fans not only in the midwest but across the world and this year they were actually moving to online competition so definitely it was you know this year alone online is everything so now that you're caught up let's read what they posted right here they say the big house is heartbroken to share that we've received a cease and desist from nintendo of america inc to cancel our upcoming online event we were informed we do not have permission to host a broadcast the event primarily due to the usage of slippy sadly all our competitions are affected we are forced to comply with the order and cancel the big house online for both melee and ultimate refund information will be sent shortly we apologize to all those impacted and after that if you're not too familiar with the smash scene you probably have some questions in regard to this message like first of all you're like okay they're saying primarily due to the usage of slippy what the hell is slippy user built modification built solely out of the love of the game to make it exist to keep happening when people see melee they see smash bros when they see smash bros they they get interested in the scene we'll talk about the elephant in the room yeah we're all playing melee right now on 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 isos of the game we are like there's no there's no there's no looking around it you can't have an, an online form of melee without having a modded form of the game which is a directly ripped from the file of a disc itself it's just how it is right now i mean we can relate to it in the street fighter scene because we had like a fan made rollback or fan made netcode right where street fighter 5 got improved with certain systems i think it was from like pc to pc or some shit like that but anyway it was better the online was better and it was dope capcom came basically took it away we were all pissed Basically, that's what's happening here. With this in mind, you obviously have people, like I said, not only upset, but like devastated because they have everything, all their livelihoods built around this. You know, you're talking about people throwing tournaments. You're talking about people that are invested, continuing to support this scene they love, growing this scene they love. You know what I'm saying? Like Toph right here that says, I quit my job as a senior software engineer in March to pursue full-time content around the game I love. I wanted to believe in the scene and the community. This is hard for me. I'm sorry if it's impacting my commentary today. He continues right here when he says, I think I speak for us all when I say, we just want to play our game, a game so many of us 
considered to be one of the richest, deepest, and most fun competitive games of all time. And we would love to go to IRL Big House if we weren't taking COVID seriously. And then Leffen responds to this as well. Y'all know Leffen got something to say. He said, Nintendo shooting itself in the foot, just like Evo 2013. Sadly, at this point, I'm far from surprised. Now y'all remember back in 2013, that's when Nintendo was like trying to say that Melee, they didn't want it at Evo. They were almost like they didn't want it played there. Nintendo tried to make Evo, which would use the fully legal version of the game, the fully vanilla version of the game. They tried to have Melee not be at Evo, which was obviously 200 times more confusing and when that happened the entire community came together and they all sent them the emails they all sent them the phone calls they sent them everything that we could to show them this is not the right call and when nintendo allowed melee to be back at evo suddenly a new esport flourished left an answer this saying just incredibly sad that they would do such a thing nintendo was going out of its way to hurt our community yet again while trying to play nice and invite us to market their new games it's baffling how stupid and greedy they are but hey guys at least nintendo supports the scene by forcing tournament streams to play ads and this is the hashtag that's going around right now you're going to continue to see this it's hashtag free melee everybody's saying this because they're like yo basically if you do this lord knows how long the covid and shutdown it's obviously going to go over until next year i mean numbers just continue to go up especially here within the states so everybody's like yo if we have no good net code in melee we have no online what do we have and left brings up some good points right here and goes deeper he says i hope other gaming communities realize that if nintendo gets away with this it opens the door up for every gaming publisher to cease and desist any tournament series that doesn't follow the rules perfectly they are doing this because of slippy but since slippy is legal due to it being simple code injection with no assets from nintendo they use the outdated copyright system to take down the tournaments anyway the same can and will be done for youtube videos streams twitter videos you name it seriously we need to show that this is not okay. They went back on it once in 2013 after trying to cancel a tournament that, again, was completely legal and raised almost 100000 for charity. Publishers tried to do the same thing with Dragon Ball Fighters recently too, but eventually gave in after all the negative publicity. And with all this being said, Ultra David, remember we talked about him in another video where he was commenting on the fact that rights for streamers, y'all know like this DMCA thing with Twitch or streamers, right? It's hitting everybody. There's a lot of streamers that are getting their shit pulled away all their VODs, their life's work, gone. Some of them are even totally just getting, you know, banned from Twitch altogether. And Ultra David, who's actually a lawyer in real life, not just a FGC commentator, but he was like, y'all gotta realize that what we have right here is definitely an amenity. It's a blessing because like gaming or, you know, game companies, if they wanted to, they could like, enforce their rights or copyrights or all this other bullshit and take this shit away from us if they wanted to. So right here, Leffen was posting this saying, absolute PR bullshit. Slippy does not require illegal obtained versions of the game to function. Backing up games and emulation has been proven several times to be legal in US court cases. And Ultra David comments on that as well saying, nah, they're within their legal rights to do this. It's unnecessary and dumb and mean though. Leffen responds to that saying, to shut down the tournament, absolutely. Not to shut down Slippy Slippy or to use it being illegal as to why they shut it down. David responds to that saying, I don't know how Slippy works on the back end of things in general. Emulators can be legal if they're made in certain ways that comply with the law, but the actual software and audiovisual works that run on them are almost certainly infringing, unfortunately. Then David answers with this as well, answering other questions saying like, it's okay because it's super confusing. Copyright law is basically all over the place, super confusing. And what it seems like unfortunately is bottom line, companies can, I I mean, they can get away with it. And then we wrap it up here with Brian up because I feel like a lot of people in the community are feeling this exact way. Right here he says, Nintendo is within their legal rights, isn't justification for their behavior. It's the root of the problem. You can't rely on goodwill for corporations. They always exploit the law to be anti-consumer. The problem is the law themselves have to change. That one is everybody. Thank you for watching. Definitely let me know how you feel. Like I said, those of us on the Street Fighter side, I believe we can relate as well. A lot of people are saying this is just, it doesn't make sense, right? You say, oh, they can do this and they're within their rights, but you're like, why wouldn't you? People love your game and they're doing things to improve your game and to share it with the world, with tournaments and all that, and you pull it away, just doesn't make sense. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the love. One more time, today is what? Friday, so the next time we're gonna try to post is gonna be Sunday. If something breaks, we'll post tomorrow, but if not, we'll definitely see you Sunday morning. So thank you guys for all the love. We'll see you soon. Peace.
blah 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 subscribe else that I seek except you and I just have one question for you I need to, I need to. You truly make me the happiest person on earth.